In this video, we're gonna go over five mountain bike drills that can definitely improve your motocross riding. All right, guys, before we go over the five things that we're gonna help you with to get your dirt bike riding a little bit better on your mountain bike, I just wanna explain why we're here. Basically, the best cross training in my mind is done on a mountain bike. You're working on your fitness, you're working on your form, you're working on all the variables it takes to improve on the dirt bike as well. We're gonna go over five drills, let's go. All right, the first thing that we're gonna talk about here, we like to work from the ground up. We feel like that's where the foundation is built. We're gonna talk about dropping your heels. If you've seen any of our other videos, when we talk about proper form, dropping the heels is so important. It's gonna let the first point of contact be in your ankles and the flexion of your ankles is your first suspension in the bike. So if you can get dialed in on dropping, you don't have to be clipped in on the pedals like we have, but if you just have regular pedals and you can practice dropping those heels down, it's gonna apply on the motocross bike just as good. The second thing that we're gonna talk about is looking through the corners. It is like one of the most important things you can do on a motocross bike, especially because they're a little more high speed than on a mountain bike. So it gives you the opportunity of getting your eyesight off of what's directly in front of you, which is what's comfortable and out in front of you so you can see what objects are coming towards you and make the correct decisions. This is so important. This is actually how I improved looking ahead in my riding on the dirt bike was practicing it on my mountain bike consistently throughout the week. So yeah, just hop on your bike, look through the corner, look down the straightaways. Hey, just because we're on a mountain bike here doesn't mean you can't go over to shopmxf.com and grab some of our sick merch. That just dropped not too long ago. We're super stoked on how well it's going. We're excited to see you guys in it. Check it out, link in the description below. The third thing we're gonna talk about is just being in proper position. What I like to call is unlocking the hips and being in attack position with the upper body. It's not exactly the same because the pedals are offset. You've got one foot in front of the other, but the idea is to build the muscle group that you need to be in the right position when you're on the dirt bike. If you're in that position on the mountain bike and you have opportunity to ride in that position for any amount of time, it's gonna help your motocross riding tremendously and just being able to get in that position and feel comfortable. So the fourth thing that we're gonna talk about is getting off your brakes earlier. I'm sure if you've watched our videos, you've heard me talk about straightaway speed. There's nothing in the world that dramatizes straightaway speed more than a mountain bike. If you're able to get off the brakes early, it creates the momentum through the corner, the flow through the corner, and you have that straightaway speed. Specifically on a mountain bike, it's so important because you don't have throttle. All you have is pedaling. So if you wanna pick up good straightaway speed, you're off the brakes early, so you're not breaking deep into the corner. There are times on a motocross bike where braking deep into a corner is beneficial, but to create an overall flow around the track, you want to be off the brakes early, get the bike to lean, and then on the gas as early as possible to get that nice straightaway speed. All right, fifth thing, and this is just following up, getting off the brakes early, is initiating lean, getting used to leaning the bike over. If you can find a place like we're at here, where it has berms, it gives you a little more confidence to get that bike to lean over, but a lot of people have uh, some kind of hold back in their mind about getting the dirt bike to lean over. If you can practice that on a two-wheeled machine, it's a little lighter, a little easier to get the bike to lean over. It's fantastic for transitioning to the motocross bike. Now the difference is, is you're standing up on the mountain bike, but that's still okay because you do hit a lot of turns standing up that are less than 180 degrees. So your 90 degrees, your 45 degree turns are all, should be done standing up on a motocross bike. Perfect to practice that on this. Pro tip for that though, is neither the mountain bike nor the dirt bike want to turn while you're on the brakes. There is such thing as trail braking on a dirt bike to keep the bike planted with the front brake in ruts. But as far as creating a flow around a big long term, which a lot of motocross tracks have, you want to be off the brakes, let the bike lean over, and then catch the lean with throttle, which plants the bike into the corner. Same concept on a mountain bike, off the brakes early, let the bike lean, and then pedal out of the turn. All right, we've had a ton of questions about cross training, so here's your first video. What we think is important off the bike is getting on the mountain bike and focusing on the same things. If you did enjoy this video, we have plenty more motocross videos over here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our Instagram and our Patreon account where you can donate just a little bit of money every month to keep this channel moving forward. Peace!